Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel and today I'm just going to be showing you on how to repair damaged CV axle uh, threads because uh, the issue that I'm having with this axle is that the axle nut <laughs> stops uh, after I thread in the new axle nut. So it stops here because the, uh, the I believe that that one or two threads <laughs> have been damaged previously because it's been uh, the old axle nut was uh, taken off. I'm just doing this video for demonstration purposes, and so uh, each time when you want to do a repair on a vehicle. Sometimes you need to take the axle out for some reason because you want to do some work. Say that you want to put the axle back in. You you are not replacing the axle. And for some reason, something happened to the threads and got damaged. And so you don't want to, you don't want to force the, uh, the axle nut with an impact wrench because that's going to damage the threads uh, even further and, and typically when uh, when you remove old axle nuts off of the vehicle th they are usually staked on most vehicles and so when you don't unstake uh, the axle nut it will just cause the the axle nut to drag uh, on the threads when you are removing it it does not always happen but the, uh, in most cases, it, it, it will sometimes damage the threads. So now I'm just going to show you on how to repair the threads now if you don't want to replace the entire axle. And now depending on how badly damaged the threads uh, are on the, on the CV axle is, is going to, to, is going to vary on which, uh, tool that you are going to be needing now i have a, a thread chaser tool this one to chase damaged threads so th this basically uh, helps to 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 straighten out the the damaged threads if they're not badly worn so this is an an m22 by 1.5 thread chaser tool and this is this one here is a a die. It, it typically, you would you would find these from a typical top and die set, but th this size is, is is not usually available in the the top and die sets that you find at the retail stores. I I bought these these tools from the, from the Mac Tools. <laughs> website you can purchase them uh, off of the tool truck now uh th there are other kits that i also have for different uh, sizes for the the uh, the thread chaser for the cv axles but this is what i'm just going to be showing you guys in the video so for this one this will typically cut down the metal and, and re-thread it if it's uh, too badly damaged or too badly worn and then you would have to use this this is also an m22 by 1.5 the majority of axles in the market on vehicles today are m22 by 1.5 a thread pitch so today I'm just going to to be using this thread chaser tool uh, instead because uh, this axle is not the the threads are not too badly worn on this axle so we are just going to be using this tool so you can use like engine oil or, or penetrating oil or something so you can lubricate the threads or you can use like grease or or whatever you want. So I'm just going to spray a little bit. 
on the tool and on the axle and I'm going to uh, to run it through so I'm going to run it through and until it stops after it gets too hard it gets a little stiff and then you will need to use like a a socket and a ratchet and or a a wrench to uh, to run it through so you, i have a 32 wrench you can go through it just like this <laughs> by hand or you can use an axle axle uh axle socket and just go by hand first until it becomes tight so you're not able to do it any to go through anymore then you will need to use the ratchet after that so it's going to be difficult to do this when the axle is not on the vehicle because i i will have to hold down the axle somehow either by hand or on the vice so that i can i can uh can run down the thread chaser so now i just uh i carefully i put this on the vice so that i'm able to 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 thread in the a thread chaser because it's too difficult to hold the axle by hand and uh, and, and use a ratchet so I, I just put it on the vise carefully so now i'm just going to to go through this we are just uh, trying to to fix and straighten out the threads this is just a a thread chaser this is not the the die tool that i just showed you earlier the the one in which you are going to to cut down on on the metal to create the new, new threads this one is just to to fix and to to straighten out the threads so we're just going to keep going until until there is is no more uh a resistance i don't feel too much resistance now so i think everything sh should be okay now so we are going to going to go back now and and, uh, and back this off in some cases if the threads are too badly worn you may need to spray a little bit more of the penetrating oil and or to put like engine oil or or grease to to help uh, protect the threads from damage so it will be easier to uh, to turn the thread chaser uh, in so I'm going to take this out I was using a, a 32 a millimeter axle nut a socket. So I'm going to take this out now. And hopefully everything should be okay now. Uh, I'm going to clean it down with some brake cleaner first. Clean any dirt or, or metallic uh, <laughs> debris. Now we can grab our new axle nut and see if it uh, <laughs> threads in. Okay.
still having a little bit of a hard time. <clears throat> Just having a look at the at the tool to see if it caught any any uh, pieces of metal. It seems to be a, a lot better now. You just got to make sure you, you put some grease or some kind of, uh, of lubricant. But when you install these axles, you should be using uh, like wheel bearing grease. And, uh, and that should be good. So this looks good now. Everything is all right. In a a majority of cases, the the thread tracer is is going to help. Probably, I say maybe, probably like eight out of ten times, a thread tracer is gonna help. A worst case scenario, like one out of ten or two out of ten, you'll probably have to use the the die tool to uh, to cut down a. Uh, into the threads. So once again, I'm going to to see if this goes in okay now. It's going in okay now. It's a a lot easier and smoother. It's going in all the way now. So we're we are all good to go, and the the threads have been repaired and uh, and fixed on this uh, CV axle <laughs>